A parole killer who confessed to the serial rapes and murders of three young women in Kalamazoo County in the 1970s is looking for a new job after the state says it shut down his private transportation service. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker spoke with the convicted killer and the sister of one of his victims. For the family of one of the victims, the latest development raises more questions about the state's handling of Brett Costa's release from the start. Lori Lack was 10 years old when Brett Costa and Danny Raines raped and murdered her sister Pamela Fearnow in 1972. Her sister was just about to start her sophomore year at Western Michigan University. I was a bratty little sister. She was nine years older than me. Um, she was very fun-loving. It was very hard for me. It made me think that I might not live till I was eight, over 18. Uh, it made me afraid. Coster, just 15, and Reigns, then in his late 20s, also killed two young women from Chicago who had stopped at a Kalamazoo gas station on their way to Ann Arbor. Reigns, who killed a fourth woman by himself, was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Coster, who testified against Reigns, pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and got life. He served 48 years before the parole board released him in January 2021. Fear Now sister says she is still angry that the state never notified her family about the parole hearing. She says she would have argued to keep him locked up. I would have wanted to go. I would have wanted to tell them um, that I feel robbed of being able to know my sister as an adult. She was robbed of her future. She was robbed of any having children, a family. Then she recently learned that Coster, now living in Battle Creek, had started a business providing rides in his car. I'm not sure how the state of Michigan gave him a chauffeur's license. Records show the Michigan Secretary of State issued him a chauffeur's license in December 2023. If you're giving rides to people, men, women, and you know these where they live, I mean, that's kind of eerie to me, be knowing that he had, you know, killed three women, raped and killed three, I, I would be afraid that he would do it again. A spokesman for the State Department of Corrections says it learned about the new business venture through social media and immediately told him to stop. Quote, his parole agent met directly with Coster after becoming aware to make clear that he cannot provide rides or engage in similar work with the public. Does he deserve a chance? Well, selfishly, he killed my sister. No, I don't think he deserves, deserves a chance. But yet, uh, part of me says, well, forgiveness. Um, but I do feel that, you know, a job chauffeuring people around is not a good idea. We spoke briefly to Coster today through his apartment door. How are you supposed to make a living? I mean, that's the question. I'm trying to figure that out now. Thanks for stopping by. Ken Kolker reporting. The victim's sister also questioning why Coster isn't on the sex offender registry since he admitted to raping and killing three women. But the state says that because he pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and not to a rape charge, he doesn't qualify.